Hello, this video will go through putting a cat rig into Unreal 4. So I've got a little robot arm here that I've just quickly made to demonstrate this. And I've rigged it using cat. So I'm not going to go through how to rig it. There's plenty of tutorials out there on how to how to rig using uh, using cat rigs. But once you've got it done, you should be here. So I've got a skin modifier on this. This is my cat rig here. So I've just got a different, I've just made an arm essentially. I've made a hub at the bottom and then an arm. Uh, we've got the cat base there. I've got this in, this cat rig into animation mode. And I've just animated a little bit of movement into it. So like I say, this is skinned. Uh, just quickly to show you the skin, I've got the hub, which is this, and then I've just got all of the the bones in the arm that are after that. So that's all that's in the skin modifier. And then obviously I've just I've just skinned the mesh to the bones. So once you get to that point, what you need to do is you need to export two things. You need to export the skeletal mesh and you need to export the animation. So you may have lots of animations to, to export. To export the, the skeletal mesh, all you have to do is to select this mesh with the skin modifier on and just do a file export selected and then just give it a name. So I've called it robot arm underscore scale and I'm exporting it as an FBX. And everything should just be set to default here, really. Um, you can go through and have a look at what, what I've got set in there. All of this stuff doesn't have an awful lot to do with the, this is just the same as what you would do if you were exporting a normal mesh. Um, I think animation could probably be unchecked there, but it won't make any difference either way. Um, So yeah, those are the options I've got. You can go through those if you're having any trouble. I'll just maybe scroll through these slowly so you can see if you've got the same thing set as I do. But it, I don't think you need to set anything. I don't think I've ever set anything specific here. So just okay that. And the next thing I need to do is to export the animation. So to export the animation, what I want to do is to select the bones. The bones that I want are anything. So if you had IK controllers and that kind of thing in your cat rig, you wouldn't want to export those. You just want to export the actual, the actual bones. So I don't want to export this base. Um, and like I say, if I had IK, IK, I wouldn't want to export those little, uh, the little crosses that you get with the IK controllers. I just want to export all of these bones here. So what I would do when I'm creating animations to make this quick, what I tend to do is select all the bones there and then create a selection set. So I can call this export scale or something like that. And then whenever I want to change my animation and export it quickly, I can just grab all of those and do file export selected. Then exactly the same thing. Let's just save it as anim1, robot arm anim1. This time I want to make sure the animation definitely is ticked. Uh, I'm not sure what's in the rest of these options. I don't think I've ever touched them. So you'll need you'll need the skins and the deformation I'd imagine. Uh, so I'm not sure what that does to be honest, but I've got that unchecked and it always seems to work out pretty well for me. So um, those are my options with my FBX. Like I say, I don't think I've ever changed anything in these to get this to work. So you shouldn't have any problems anyway, but you do need to have animation ticked. So I'll export that. Just ignore these warnings that you get. Once we've done that, let's open up Unreal. 
So I'm just going to make a blueprint first person to do this. Um, let's call it robot arm anim. Create that project. Let's just make a new folder to put our stuff in. So let's call it robot arm. And the first thing that I need to do is to ex import the skeletal mesh that I've got. So start with the skeletal mesh, because once you import this animation, you need to, you're going to tell it which skeleton it belongs to. So export the skeletal mesh first, and we want to import it as a skeletal mesh. So make sure skeletal mesh is selected here. In this bit, choose skeleton. We want none, so it creates a new skeletal. Skeleton, we will import the normals and the tangents. I think the rest of this can all just stay as it is here. So again, if you're having any trouble, those are the settings that I've got in here. But again, I've never touched any of this stuff other than um, importing the normals and the tangents. So let's import that. And then we've got our robot arm. We've also got a physics asset. I'm going to talk about physics assets in another video uh, where we'll make a bit of uh, rope. But that's it for this. The only thing I need to do now is import my animation. So let's find the animation. This is being imported automatically as an animation, so that's fine. And we want to pick which skeleton we're using. So we're going to use this robot arm skeleton that I've just created. And again, I don't think you need to touch any of this stuff. You want to make sure that you're importing the exported time. So that'll just be whatever uh, whatever your, your time frame was set to. So this thing at the bottom was set to in 3ds Max. If you wanted to, you could line up all of your animations in 3ds Max. So you could have sort of a run cycle to here, and then a walk cycle to here, and then a idle here or, or whatever and then you could just import the same file but just pick the the ranges that you wanted for each one uh, so let's import that and then we're done if we have a look at this animation now you can see that it's playing the animation it's all hooked up already the only thing that i will do is i'm going to drop this skeleton in and just to demonstrate quickly, I'll open up the the level blueprint and I'll take a reference to that skeleton. And now let's put a key press in and let's just say on that key press, play the animation. The animation we want to play, might as well loop it. Let's play the game. And when I press E, this should start animating like that. Let's scale this up a bit. So I don't know, you wouldn't necessarily want to use this. You'd want to hook this up into a proper animation blueprint. I'm not going to go through animation blueprints because the Unreal YouTube channel has some really good tutorials on setting up animation blueprints. So if, once you, if this is a character, then you'll definitely need an animation blueprint to control all of that. But like I say, there's tutorials for all of that stuff. This is ha just how you get a cat rig from 3ds Max into Unreal. So if you want to use cat rather than biped or something, that's all you do. Although it's basically exactly the same process as using biped or using uh, Maya or whatever. Um, okay, that's it.